There they are. So, you made it clear what kind of a fella you are. I don't judge you for it. As long as you do all I ask of you, what you do elsewhere don't bother me or my mistress one jot. But, good, bad, or indifferent, you gotta make yourself a living. This is Samson Finch. Yup. Mr. Finch is like you or like me. He's a bone to pick with some fellas as did him a wrong. That I do. Tell him about it. I ain't gonna lie to you. Truth is, I'm a bad bastard. I lived my way, but I stuck to my word and did what I said I would. Especially to them as stuck by me. Mr. Finch has a little predicament. I was planning a job. A good job. Thing took a goddamn year. It's gonna make me pretty rich. Then my partner went yellow and betrayed me. If you and your bunch will help me do this robbery and get back at it, like I said, I ain't never betrayed no one. I ain't about to start. Plus, well, this is a fine job. If I had a group I can trust, I'll do well. So you win. Now, I ain't gonna pretend it's not a nasty business. We're robbing robbers that know they're gonna get robbed. Not outlaws, the real robbers. Industrialists with deep pockets. And good luck, everyone. But I've heard quite enough for me to join you at the gallows, should things go wrong. How about you ride with me and I explain more about it? It's a nasty plan, but a good one. Orly, I'll see you around, friend. Sure. Just try to stay out of too much trouble. I'll see you soon, I'm sure. And if you should choose to amend your ways and try a different path, well, I'm sure Mr. Jones could help guide you a little. Come with me, friend. Riding out, saddle up. Come on, ride with me. Here's the plan. Once you're there, the guards are going to know you're not detectives here to beat up strikers. So get ready for a fight. The men with the money will probably be in the upstairs office of the refinery. Their cash is yours to divide amongst yourselves after. If I hadn't been betrayed by my partners, my brothers in arms, I'd be with you myself. But now I've got to go and make a nuisance of myself in Valentine. So they don't round me up and fit me with a rope necktie for this. It's enough for me to know that it's done is all. Figure out a way to stop it, and how you're going to win this fight when it comes to it. Getting it done is all I really care about. Okay? Look good to you? Good. The train is coming. Take it, then get to the refinery and clear them out. I need to ride for Valentine. I'll be near old Fort Wallace if you want more work. Cha! Cha! Come <laughs> on. 
there and there. The men who betrayed me. My old company. Hold up like the rats that they are. But it ain't just that. Revenge ain't my primary motive. My primary motive is profit. Only thing about this is we can kill two birds with one stone. If we take out the ammunition dump in the place, then there ain't no way they can blow a hole in the bank they were planning on robbing, which leaves us to do it when I can figure a way. Here's some dynamite to do the job. And if one of you gets the opportunity to kill my so-called lifelong best friend and business partner, well, that'll be fine, too. I best stay here. I don't want them to know I'm behind this. Much as I like to shoot every last one of them. So good luck. I'll watch how you get on. Get on. Get on. An eye for an eye. A tooth for a tooth. A knife in the back for a knife in the back. Go away, old man. Nice world, Mr. Finch. We are what we are, and what you are is a pathetic old man. So it goes. But remember, you don't have to be like this. There's more than one way to earn a buck. Oh, and... I saw your friend Horley. He said to say thank you for attending to his business. Uh, said you'd understand. Not sure I do. Like I said, good luck. I'll watch how you get on. All right, so welcome back to another episode. Well, sorry, another part. These are this, the dishonorable missions, hopefully. However, this one is the... What is it? This one's the last one. Before the so it's not the first dishonorable, dishonorable mission that you need to do. Oh shoot! Hey. So we gotta go and uh, invade this fort. Oh shoot! There's a lot of guys. Go. You got below it, right? Hang on, hang on. There we go. Light the fuse. Okay. Run. Oh shit. <sighs> Damn, I was hoping they would get the guy behind me, but I guess not. Ah. So, that's whatever. Come on, come on, get this guy. Let's go, he's down. A lot of guys out here. Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh, shit. <laughs> Got surrounded real quick. I ran out of lives too. So if I'm out. I'm out. Oh, shoot. <laughs> that turned out a little pretty worse. I couldn't switch to my pistol. Couldn't switch to hell fast enough. Looks like I'm about to die. And there we go. <sighs> Damn it. <laughs> I saw the other guy there too, Pat right past me, but I was hoping the other guys would have got him or something. Shit. That's all well, awful. I guess we'll. That's what 
to deal with it later. I'll have to retry it. Here we go again. Watch out for the people that are behind us as well. Oh, we'll say they take care. They took care of them. There we go. One. Help, help. There are guys everywhere. Gotta be careful. One down. Thank you. Thank you very much. Here's some cash to keep you going. That bastard's death makes my life much easier. 
Now we won't have the army going after the same banks as we are. If we can ever get the planning of it. I'll be in touch if I can. And I'll be in Blackwater! And your bounty will be in any sheriff's office. I said away with you, old bastard. Ah, oh, you'll hear me in your sleep, Finch. <laughs>